We wanted to chime in here to talk about the light bulb that went on for us after we dealt with a relatively large rental portfolio ourselves. And we just go down the list. I mean, you know, we had rentals and most people say, like, like we did, you know, I did that once, right? But then usually never really made a lot of money and, and it was a lot of headaches. And even people that have property managers. Yeah. I mean, you know a lot of people that have, have problems still have to deal with it. Yeah, yeah you still have to deal with it and still have to write checks. But just the, just the short list so you can kind of get wrap your mind around why dealing with a homeowner versus a tenant is just huge. Number one, the down payment. I mean, a typical renter puts down what maybe a thousand dollars if it was a thousand if it was a thousand dollar month rent. Our typical homeowner puts down ten thousand dollars. I sleep a little better at night knowing I've got a bigger down payment. Um, you've got repair issues. I mean, we don't fix any toilets. I mean, on rentals, you're fixing toilets, you're replacing roofs, you're re dealing with AC repairs. I mean, it never ends. With when you're seller financing, obviously none of those issues are in play. You've got the vacancy issue. When we had rentals, our rental portfolios went extremely well, but it was after 12 months, the guy moves out, we got a month or so to get in there, clean the carpets, paint the house, and get a new tenant in there, but then, you know, there's a couple of months lost rent here, a couple of months lost rent there, so that, that eats your lunch, the vacancy issue. In theory, on our, on our finance, when you get someone in the house, they're making payments and plan on staying there a long time. That's been our experience. Um, taxes, homeowner, homeowner association dues. I mean. The taxes are paid, the property taxes we're talking about, are actually paid by the person that owns the home. When you sell a home, they're responsible for the taxes. They're responsible for the insurance on the property. They're responsible if there's a homeowner association. So when you add all those things up, it's a huge distinction. That's the light bulb I think that went on for us is we looked up one day and said, you know what, we're just tired of dealing with tenants. And we started going down the road of seller financing and, and uh, it's just been a huge blessing. So we just wanted to open up your eyes so you can think about that. A lot of people consider the rental side of things because it's easy to get loans and that sort of thing for rental properties. But that's something we're going to teach you in a later lesson. We're going to go into how you can actually leverage your note by walking into a bank. Just like you can borrow money on a rental property, you can borrow money on a note. We're going to show you exactly how to do it, how to work with a bank, and we'll take you there in a future lesson. One thing to piggyback on before we go is that, you know, the, I think the biggest out of all those, out of you know the taxes and out of the repairs and um, and so forth is the mentality. I mean, the renter's mentality versus uh, the homeowner's mentality. Great point. Um, it's just it's just two different people. Yeah, it's the, like, the renter's mentality. They're going to call you uh, for every little thing. Yeah. And whereas the homeowner, you know, that's their house. They take pride in it. They're going to take care of it. They're not going to let the yard, you know, go to yeah get trashed. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can drive down a street and see. You know, if this house is a renter or if this house is a homeowner, usually. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's that's the main thing. Yeah. So we know that they're going to take care of the house. So in the future, if we happen to do take it back, we know that it was a homeowner living there and that they didn't just demolish. Exactly. That pride of ownership was the key. Yeah. In fact, I just I couldn't. I'm sorry, I almost interrupted you there, but there were a couple a couple of thoughts that came to mind. We had like two or three in the last month where we actually we drive by these properties because they're in the areas that we work in all the time, and we saw two in particular that had built major additions on these houses. I mean, so think of what that does to you. These are people that own this house. They are adding on to this house. They have no intention of leaving this house. And all they're really doing is increasing the value of the collateral, exactly. which is the, these all these notes are secured by real estate. So I just love that. You don't see that on a rental, that's no. my point. You go by and they're doing additions. You see something like, missing. Yeah. Addition <laughs> missing. Yeah. All right, we'll catch up with you later. To register for Module 1, go to thenotefactory.com, click on the Academy, scroll to Module 1, and select Add to Cart. When you purchase Module 1, you will be given access to the Academy Member Library, where you will be able to view your Module 1 video lessons and download the digital version of the module. You will also be mailed your glossy cardstock color hard copy of the Module 1 booklet free of charge so you can follow along with the video lessons and take notes during the course. Prior to beginning the module, you will be given a free phone consultation with one of the principals of the Note Factory who will help you to develop your own note investing strategy based on your unique financial goals. We look forward to helping you on your path to becoming a successful note investor. See you in Module 1.